Now we'll look into some other task utility functions. I have two tasks created here, my task one and my task two, which is neither of the tasks are doing anything. And in my task two, what I want to do is I want to find out, I want to print the state of task one. To get the value of the state, I need to create a variable whose data type is e task state, and I'll call the variable my state. To get the state of a task inside my state, I use a function called e task get state. And the parameter of this function will be the corresponding task handler for the task whose uh, state I want to find out, which in this case will be my task one handle. The output is uh, is an integer, so I can print it like this. But the state of task one is my state. So this will print the uh, the state of task one. Uh, every one second. So if I build this program, um, there are some errors. Okay. Oh, So it's printing the state of task one is one. Um, now what this one means is, if you go and look into this um, this data type e task state, um, it's a structure that has a that has six different uh, values. Uh, zero means it's running, one is ready, two is blocked, uh, three is suspended. 4 delete and then if it's invalid it goes on 5. Um, now the state of task 1 is 1 which means it's ready. Uh, ready means it's ready to run. It's not running at the moment. Um, the running task will be task 2 because since we are inside task 2 so this is the task that is running. So all the other tasks will, will be in a ready state which are ready to run. Um, I can go ahead and I can also print the the state of task to itself. So I can copy this here and this is going to be task two. Uh, even the handler has to be changed. So um, I can rebuild this program and run it. So it says the state of task 1 is 1 and the state of task 2 is 0. Um, so if you go and look back into the function, into the, the meaning of these, these values, so task 2 is 0 which means task 2 is running. And this is obvious because we are inside task 2 and task 1 is obviously ready to, ready to run. Uh, if you do something in task 1, let's say I want to suspend the task. Um, I'm going to use a function called vtask suspend and I'm going to suspend task1 itself It says the state of task one is three, which means zero, one, two, three, which means it's suspended. So we can see that we can find out the, the state of any task using these functions here. Uh, um, if you want to look into uh, the state of all the tasks, uh, like any 
yeah, in, a, in a table there is a very nice function uh, called um, vtask list so I can get rid of these functions here right now these since these lines of code so I will use a function called vtask list and in here I need to point it to to a buffer where it can store the data so I will do that outside here I will call it uh, my task list and I'll give it in a size of let's say 300 300 bytes and I'm going to use the the pointer to that buffer here and I want to print this buffer so which is going to be mod s and my my task list so if I run this program now okay it's programmed so I'm gonna run it now so it says task 2 idle timer service call and uh, task 1 so like how you get in a in a task manager in your operating system you can view all the different tasks that are running um, R is ready B is blocked S means it's uh, suspended because we had suspended our task 1 so we can see let me stop this for some time you can see that task 1 is suspended uh, the idle state it's ready to run the, the timer service call is blocked and task 2 itself is running and the second column here uh, this represents the priority level so we created our tasks with uh, with the default priority of 0 so here we can see the priority is 0 this is the stack size that's used and this is the the serial number of the task the tasks that are going to run in what order um, if I want to find out the total number of tasks that are running uh, I can use uh, another um, function called uh, let me just do it directly printf the total number of tasks running is uh, I'm going to use the function called ux dos get number of number of dos and I will and I'm going to use another function if I want to find out the total uh, tick count the total number of ticks that uh, the operating system has or the, or the free autos kernel has has run for I can use uh, a function let me print it the total ticks mod d and the function to get the total number of ticks is x task get tick count so now um, it's going to display the the all the tasks that are running. It's going to display the total number of tasks and also the total tick. So let me go ahead and let me run this program. this program so, so now it's printing all the tasks and it says the total number of tasks running is 4 let me pause it so, see the total number of tasks running is 4 and the total takes it's it goes on 4021 and then 5025 6029 so if you allow it to run we can see that the total number of ticks are shown here um, 
you have to be a bit careful when you're using this function here x task uh, get take count if you're using this function uh, inside an isr uh, you might end up having some problem so if you want to use a similar function to get the total number of ticks inside an isr you use a, a slightly different variant of the function which is called x task get tick count from isr so if you are inside a thread you use x task get tick count if you're using this function from an isr you use x, x task get tick count from isr